hospital capacity concerns rising in Michigan. Nearly 4,000 COVID patients across the state and the federal government now stepping in, sending in 44 military medical personnel to help those overrun hospitals. The Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Detroit also opening beds for civilian patients to try and help ease that load as those big health care systems fill up. David Horak, former Grand Rapids Station WOOD, uh, -O -O David spoke with officials at smaller hospitals about how they are dealing with the strain. Yeah, Nicole, it's not just COVID, it's chronic illnesses and other patients trying to find treatment for whatever they're dealing with. And all are looking for a place to check in, but smaller hospitals are having a hard time admitting these patients anywhere. Joe Bonello, who serves as vice president and chief nursing officer at Holland Hospital, says they are at maximum capacity with 40% of their beds occupied by COVID patients. Right now, a true and tried solution of taking patients to another hospital is not working. There is no ability to transfer a patient from one hospital to another. If, if you're full and you have a patient who needs to be admitted, um, there's no place else to send them because everybody's uh, in the same condition as we are. Administrators say a chief indicator of whether the situation will improve anytime soon is the COVID positivity rate. Michigan's positivity rate is at 18% and climbing. We know that the hospitalization rate tends to follow the positivity rate by a couple of weeks and so we watch that carefully to see if that starts coming back down. And they also urge you to not wait on any visits, treatments or checkups with your doctor so that way you won't increase your chances on having to wait outside your local ER during a severe emergency. Nicole. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.